Finding the right shade of red lipstick is not always the easiest task, but it's such a great color to have in your makeup bag because it makes an ordinary outfit really pop. Beauty editor Maria Del Russo is joining me to help you pick out the right red lipstick for your skin tone. Hi, Maria. Hi, Jessica. Well, I feel like a lot of people think that they can't wear red lipstick, but there's one major thing that you have to keep in mind is you have to know your undertones. Now, that word gets thrown around a lot in our industry, in the beauty industry, but there's a couple of things that you could know to figure out what your undertones are. I'm gonna let you know what they are. Okay, let's, let's do the test. So, first thing you wanna do is go outside, you need natural light for this, and look at the inside of your wrist. Now, if you'll give me your wrist. You look around here and you'll see whether or not your veins are blue or green. Now you have greenish tinted veins. That means you have a warm undertone. But if you were to have blue undertones, or blue veins, excuse me, that would mean you have cool undertones. So that's a good way to kind of figure it out. Okay, great, so what if I can't tell? Sometimes I feel like that's a hard thing to see. It definitely is. I kind of have a mix, which means I'm neutral, which is kind of nice because I get to wear whatever kind of lipstick I want. And if you're neutral, you can kind of wear whatever tones that you want. It really doesn't matter with undertones. Lucky girls. I know, so there's also a couple of other things that you can do. If you notice that silver jewelry looks better on you than gold, that means you have a cool undertone. Now, if gold tends to pop on you more, you have a warm undertone. That's an old school trick, I know that one. It is, it's very good. And if you're just completely confused and you have no idea, just go to a makeup counter. The professional there will be more than happy to match you. They'll be able to tell you in a second and you'll be set for life on what your undertone is. Great, so what, what do we need to know once we determine our undertones? How do we find the lipstick that we want? So if you have a cool undertone, you wanna look for a blue-based red. Now that might seem a little weird because Blues and reds, what is that? So I'm gonna show you what a blue-based red looks like. This is a beautiful shade by Chanel, it's a little glossy. And then we have an old standby when it comes to red lipstick. This is MAC Russian Red. Yes, MAC Russian Red is the red lipstick. Everyone exactly. knows it. Such a classic. And if you can see, these are very rich tones. Now, your blue-based reds tend to be your crimsons, your cranberries, anything that you think of that has kind of those rich, warm tones, or I don't wanna say warm, those rich, like colors to them, those are blue base. They have kind of that cooler undertone and that'll look beautiful on cool tones. Now what you want to avoid if you do have cool tones are those warm pinks. Want to stay around from anything that has a pinky undertone because it'll completely wash you out and completely conflict with your undertones. Now, for someone like you, Jessica, warm. if you have a warm undertone, you wanna look for something that has uh, orange-based red. So you can immediately see the difference when I swipe on this shade from Flower. Do you see the difference between the two? Yes. That is a warm undertone and that is cool. This is blue-based, orange-based, that pops, super vibrant. It's got kind of that orangey tint to it. You see that tangerine tone. And then this is also a good warm undertone option. This is NARS Pop Life. And again, you could just once again see how vibrant that shade is as opposed to the MAC. They're two totally different shades. And if you looked at them in the bottle, you might not notice it. So it's really important to swatch them on your hands. Now, warm undertone ladies, if you're kind of afraid about something this bright, the trick for you is to look for a gloss, something that's got that red tint, but is a little bit more sheer that you can layer on. It'll give you that red tone without being so super bright and vibrant. It's always something good to do, you know, if you need to layer a little bit. So the most important tip I can absolutely give you is when trying out your red lipstick, try it in the store before you take it home. If you want to use a lipstick brush, if they're available, always be hygienic. But if you don't have something like that, just test it out on your hand and you'll be able to see what looks good on you. And you'll have your perfect red lipstick, which you could kind of have for the rest of your life. Yes, so homework assignment, go swatch colors at your local department store exactly. and find that perfect red lipstick for summer. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you, Jessica.